Big, phenomenal, fantastic, amazing shout outs to our wonderful Patreon supporter, Jimmy Hatcher. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for the support. Thank you for being a beautiful nomkin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can't thank anyone enough for this. It's so nom that you would support us on our Patreon. Make sure you guys check it out too. You can shout out your uh, book, your art, all that kind of stuff if you want a customized shout out. You can also go for a lower tier and get involved in the nomination and voting process for stuff. Uh, there's, I think, a few high tier slots available too if that's something you'd like to check out. Maybe have a one-on-one -on -one call with me. It's pretty awesome. You're pretty awesome if you're listening to this video. Thank you so much, so much for the support. And, um... I hope you guys enjoy me and Chrism playing two random horror games here, both of which are really numb. Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Chrism. And today we are playing My Adaption into a Human by Spookle McBoogle. Oh my god. Well, let's check out it out. This game is a work of fiction. All places are fictional and have nothing to do with reality. Any coincidences or accidental epilepsy warning the game contains fast paced scenes. Oh. Actually, is this by Spookle McBoogle? Let me just check. It is. I don't think, from what I've seen so far, you would have a problem with this, but we'll see. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will say, guys, all his games, uh, we played his monstrous roommate game pretty recently, and I have covered other games by Spookle before. They're usually pretty unpleasant and hard-hitting, so I can't tell you what's going to be in this one, but they're never that nice. Out of the darkness that lies between the universes, a being was born. An outcast creature that had no place in any of the planes of existence. You are this creature. Oh. Choose oh. your human vessel. Oh, my. I'm pretty sure that's one of the uh, Jedwood twins. So this guy has the highest health, but his lowest attack is the attack. lowest. Should we go in the middle? <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, none of them are great looking, let's be honest. <laughs> sure, why not? Choose the, your method of infiltration. Do we want to go up the nose or in the ear? I don't know, they're both gross. I think the ear is probably slightly less gross. Oh no! Ew. We're squeezing ew. along, look. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> oh. We're infiltrating, you know? The human brain. The human body resists your invasion. Click on the weak points and try and survive. What? Oh, I see. We have to attack. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be clicking the red or not. Uh, it's dying. I feel like we're dying. <laughs> Our health is about 50% and so is its health. We're doing alright, I think we got this. We won. Yay! Inhale, then another one. I feel. I think. It's so hot in here. How do I know that word? Hot. Millions of pieces of me are being carried around my new home. So many feelings and emotions all at once. I used to be many. Now I am one. Yet there are many separate parts of me within me. Memories. Knowledge. Who do they belong to? What am I? Chapter 1 is birth. I love the font choice there, by the way. <laughs> the fever seems to be receding. I'm still dizzy, though. Ew. You got investigate? At least I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. I can barely move my legs. What happens if we click investigate? Nothing so far. What's more, the smell in here is just disgusting. The air has changed. It's easier to breathe now, but not by much. Our hunger is low at the moment, apparently. This is the kitchen. Hunger. I'm so hungry. Oh, I guess it, it's the opposite of low. Do we need to find a human to eat? Pretzel, do I need to close you out the room for being a naughty girl? 
Alright, I guess we're gonna head downstairs. My heart is beating faster and faster. I don't want to die. Maybe I should just go back? Ah, what fresh air. The hunger, however, is only getting worse. Or maybe we should have investigated the kitchen. The memories of this body past host are dissipating faster and faster. I'm scared. I don't see anything edible nearby. Yeah, we were meant to investigate the other <laughs> rooms. Whoops. I want to sink my teeth into a piece of meat filled with blood. I can't think about anything else. I need to find food, whatever I can get. Whoever. Strange, my legs are shaking. I don't like it here. I don't know why, for some reason I really want to go back to my apartment right now. I guess we should go back, right? Mm. I guess that's a hint to... Uh... A hint that you fucked up. Oh, can I not go back? There's no arrow to go back. Investigate, I guess, again, here? No? And I can't did investigate you, did here. you mess up? It smells like my apartment, a strange container that holds a bunch of foul-smelling objects. Why collect stink? Can I just go in? This screen <laughs> is like a weird point and click. I think we messed up. Yeah, probably. We'll be fine. <laughs> I guess we'll keep going and if we die, if we can find a delicious human to eat on the way, then that's a net win, right? Oh no! No, no! No, no, I don't want to hurt the puppy. Don't make me do it. Um, oh, I can't, I don't think, at the moment, anyway. There's a purple. Oh, yeah, there is. So you're attacking the dog anyway. I have to, yeah. Meanie. I'm parrying a lot, but not attacking. God, this is really difficult. Like, the speed they're on screen is insane. Just focus on it. You just lose health over time, by the way. I can't tell. Oh my god! I think theoretically any time the thing... Your enemy is in defeat. An overwhelming sense of hunger compels you to eat his remains. He was probably not a nonkin, let's be honest. We're an evil space monster! Uh, oh no, baby, this could go really bad. Hey, bro, you gotta smoke. What does he want from me? Who are you? It's none of your business, you understand? Who the hell are you, a cop? I'm really hungry. Hungry? What the hell are you talking about? Are you on drugs? Oh yeah, you look a little pale and shaky. Oh fuck, I don't want to fucking mess with you. You fucking junkie. Alright, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I think we might have actually diffused the situation there. <laughs> Way better than I thought we were going to. <laughs> what am I doing here? Killing pigeons. But they don't have any health. Well, then they're attacking you, then. We're not losing health. Oh, we're eating them! Uh, our, our hunger is going up. Oh. I mean, this is nice and easy, right? We'll just eat pigeons for a few minutes. What diseases do pigeons carry again? I don't know, a lot. I mean, eating raw wild dog probably wasn't the best bet either, I'm going to be honest with you, in terms of like our survivability. I don't remember how I got back to the apartment I came from. My strength was leaving me, my body was going numb, even my eyes were hard to keep open. I know. The bed was so comfortable, a wave of warmth enveloped me. Even the stench that filled the entire room stopped bothering me. Various images began to appear before my eyes. As soon as I focused my attention on one of them, it would immediately slip away from me. Among this seemingly incoherent set of images, one recurred most frequently. A millipede. A fable about a millipede that my mother used to tell me as a child. These are not my memories. As soon as I start thinking about this, my head starts to hurt and all my limbs go numb. Like a millipede when it thinks about the sequence in which it moves its legs. It's amazing how strong some of people's memories are. Family. There is still a lot that escapes me in human behaviour, although the nature of my own actions and thoughts is not completely clear to me. 
Once I came to my senses, I began to study all the information available to me with extreme avidity. I've been unable to find any information on creatures like me. However, even if I don't have any relatives, I have a great desire to create them. What is love? Oh no! No, no. Another start to the day. I tried to get here early while the park is still empty. I can't imagine how lucky I was not to get caught on my first day of existence. I need to fill my stomach to the brim or I have to run around the back alleys half the night looking for rats. Oh god, so we every day we come here to eat pigeons. Mm. He's going up way faster now. Yay. I started going out more often. However, the feeling of unease didn't go anywhere. It's dangerous while they don't understand how people manage to experience it every day. It's best not to think about such things. I must try and do what I can for my survival. Do I have any other choice? No. Can you be the homeless man, baby? Hey, buddy, you got changed. I'm so hungry and my stomach hurts. Uh, brother? <laughs> I'll say I won't be weird. I feel saying brother's just weird, right? Mm. I got nothing. As all of us, brother, you won't own anything, you'll be happy, you know? I'll tell you what, corporations, they're the ones who made it all happen. Western elites, the goddamn golden billion. You know I'm a poet, brother, I used to write poetry. Here, check it out. Okay, why not? You're so beautiful, so beautiful, like porcelain throne that was taken from me. Your skin reminds me of broken bottle glass. But I can't see the reflection of my love, my love. You know what I mean? That's poetry, Bo. I could have been famous. I wouldn't have to beg pennies. Pennies. Pennies from assholes like you. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's the goddamn I.I. They invented it and they started writing poetry and took away my fame. You're not one of them, are you? Um, who are you talking about? Monsters, they're everywhere. There was one caught the other day. They say he ate cats, rats, and killed a man and ate him. Only I know they got the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, you can't have anything from me. In the park nearby, I found pin... pin, pin In the park nearby, I find pigeon remains. This not us. We didn't do anything. Let's kill this guy. It wins every day. No, it's not cats hunting, it's a monster. I'll stay in the park tonight and keep an eye out. Maybe they'll give me a reward. You tell me if you see anything strange, we'll catch him together. He knows too much. Let's do it. He does know quite a lot. Sure. You know too much. I knew it, you monster. Oh shit, it's a fight. No shit, it's a fight! <laughs> I thought we were just gonna eat him or some shit. Honey, I think you need to be parrying a lot more than you are. I got him. Yay! Did we eat him? I don't know, probably not. I Let's don't see go a hunger thing. Let's go for a little stroll. Welcome to speed dating. We're here to help you find your soulmate. Okay. I can't get off the screen. Oh, it's your first time here, isn't it? Here are some standard tips for beginners. Answer questions honestly. Don't try to be here to be something you're not. Just be yourself and someone will definitely like you. Now please come in, we'll be starting soon. Being myself, huh? If only I knew what I am. Guess we're going in. Oh my god. Oh god, that is a terrible choice of color. A uh, terrible choice of uh, question as well to ask this man. So, do you like animals? Yes, they're very tasty. Oh, this is just terrible. How can you say something like that? What's wrong? Don't you like them? I like them. I really like them. But I told you, I'm a vegan. It's okay. I can eat dogs with vegetables. <laughs> Screw you, idiot. Did I say something wrong? So, uh, what do you do? Um, I'm interested in close relationships. Wow, I love a man with a serious attitude. What's the most important thing to you in a relationship? Coitus and no! reproduction. Psycho! Did I say something wrong? So where are you from? 
I'm sick of questions. Wow, cool. It's so nice to finally meet an honest person. I'm so sick of the same type of dating with the same questions. It's like we're doing an interview. Haha. <laughs> Great. So can we get down to coitus? You pervert! After all that failure, I went to the park and sat on the bench. Physically, I was fine, however. For some reason, I couldn't go back home. My throat was also functioning strangely, as if there was a lump stuck in it. I tried to expectorate it. Oh, he tried to spit out the lump, mm -hmm. but it didn't work. There was also some liquid coming out of my eyes. What's going on with me? I'm telling you, it's definitely him. I saw this guy with Collian. A wimp like that killed Collian? Well, we'll find out. We could be in trouble here. Mm. Hey, what hood are you from? I don't know myself. Don't play dumb with me. The boys say you killed Collian. I didn't kill anyone. Yeah, yeah, except the guys say they saw you with Collian. And I trust my voice. I hear what we're going to do. You're going to pay off your debt for Collian now. Now, boss, I thought we were going to kill him. We must avenge Collian. Shut up. Collian was useless and nothing but trouble anyway. I'm in charge here, understand? I'm sorry. From now on, you'll obey me. And if you don't, you'll meet Collian, understand? I'm so sick of you guys. Uh, why are you being so cocky? We'll teach you some sense. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Yeah. I guess I made a really bad decision, huh? Killing Coilian. Maybe it's every time you miss a circle we get damage? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Are they dying? I can't really look at the both at the same time. Yeah, now. they're dying. We're actually not doing too bad. Oh, I think we got a, a XP boost. XP? Not XP. HP boost. Ah. With each chapter, because we're on 80 now. Ah! I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Wild dogs. Cold. Hunger. Constant hunger. Shit, shit, shit. How I hate it. With every cell in my body and every breath I take, I hate this world. I hate everything about this place. And it hates me too. Oh, they kind of look cool like that. <laughs> Why did I ever come into this world in the first place? This world's trying to kill me! Well, fuck it. Fuck this world! It's time to stop denying my nature! Just be yourself, they said. It's time to find out who I really am. Oh, what the fuck? Is this battling with ourselves? Maybe. Survival of the fittest. Well, whatever it was, I... I think we're just killing people in the street, actually. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we are. Oh, wow, this is really fast. Like, fast to the point where I can't react to it. It's time to realize my nature. I think we've lost our shit, huh? Yeah. I think it's when you, you're right, when the bar goes to the end, without you having hit something, just meet. I guess this is a cop? Yeah. I'm dead. Is that it? Is this my end? It's dark and cold here, it's so cold. What's that? I feel that long forgotten feeling again. I'm so overwhelmed with energy, it seems it's about to burst out, tearing my flesh apart. My body seems to be changing. Ah! Pain! So much pain! Look away. My body, it's growing! I can't make it stop! What's going on? I'm scared! What's that? Is it just me or is there supposed to be a city here? It's like someone thing is overlapping with it on the map. It's the first time I've ever seen interference like that. Call the general. It's moving. Oh my god, we've evolved into that! It's like Cloverfield! Oh my god! The creature. No, a huge pile of flesh came out of nowhere. Military vehicles are pulling up around the thing. So far, no government statement has followed. What do you mean? Holy shit, I've never seen anything like this in my life! It's growing, devouring everything in its path. Tentacles are tearing the city apart, splattering leaders of blood everywhere! The streets are turning into rivers of blood! The powerful torrent of blood is wiping out even the cars! Inside me is an ocean of human bodies. All their pain, all their thoughts, hopes and desires, now mine. For a moment they help relieve that feeling of hunger. However, by dissolving into me, by becoming a part of me, their hunger becomes my hunger too. Will I ever be able to get enough? Does this world deserve to live? Nah. Chapter 3 is What is Pain? 
The whole world's against you. Prepare for the final battle. It's you or them. Goal is world domination. <laughs> Destroy enemy forces. Hold until your biomaterial spreads to the entire world. What do I do? Oh, I see. <laughs> I guess this is one way to depict it. Your flesh begins to grow a thick crust, reduce damage. Your maximum health increases. Oh, cool. I think we might win this. I think we've got a bit of an edge here. I think they're going to nuke us at some point. Maybe. I mean, I feel like they should have nuked us a while ago. <laughs> New ultrasonic projectiles have been developed. All soldiers use burst cartridges and tanks use plutonium tip shells. The attack power of your enemies has increased. Hmm. So far, this seems very really simple, and I'm worried. Governments around the globe are forming a new coalition to fight you. You've been called a major threat to all humanity and world order. Eh, they're not wrong. I own it. This music. <laughs> it's very Star Wars-y. It's, uh, it's a very famous piece, actually. I'm pretty sure it's been used in multiple films. Mm. Game Station 6 is released. Delay release is delayed to looming threat to all humanity. Gamers are furious. Although some argue there were no games for the last console anyway, so there's no need for a new one. <laughs> I love this guy's games. They're so interesting. <laughs> They're so unique. This cost a dollar, by the way. I think it's definitely worth it for a dollar. Yeah. Your body is in agony, burning from the inside out. Rays of radiation shooting out. You do additional damage to the enemy. <laughs> it's getting very fast now. Mm. And I'm not even halfway. Streamers around the world argue, is the destruction of all humanity so bad? <laughs> the Bic Tokers are dancing in front of your sprawling flesh. Popular streamer Asmund Bald instead of Asmagold comments on the situation. Oh yeah, this sucks, dude. Look at this. It's huge and massive. <laughs> <laughs> this is really stupid. It's just a cookie. It's like a, a clicker game, really. Mm -hmm. But I want to do it to see all the weird shit it's going to say. The Times Time the Time Soft Times magazine named you creature of the year. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who came second, I wonder? Pretzel probably. I guess that's it. <laughs> Repeatedly trying to shoot nukes at you. Yeah. Armies around the world are adopting new technologies. Drones, exoskeletons, and reinforced tank car with the health points of all troops have increased. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, this is harder. The nukes are important to take out straight away, I think. Mm. We're almost there, though. Millions of people died. Scientists believe that at this rate, all humanity will be wiped out within weeks. Time to make decisions is incredibly short. I am losing health quite rapidly, though. Yeah. Every round now I'm losing health. Shit. I don't really know what to do about it. Apocalyptic sets are springing up all the world. They pray to you, thinking that you're the coming of a deity to Earth. I think you just have to try your best. I'm doing my best. I don't think I can do it. Food supplies are disrupted around the world. Riots break out and there are people fight the police and the cult of the flesh god gains more and more followers. Oh my god. Do this more, do that more. No, not the ones close to me, they do damage. I don't like them. <laughs> I 
I've, s I've heard this music used so many fucking times, by the way. <laughs> the Coalition is prone to use nuclear weapons. Journalists wonder why it was not used earlier. There are rumours there are sec followers among the heads of government. Wait, so what have those things been? I don't know. Or maybe they're just normal missiles. I like the missiles, because they take ages to get to me. You have consumed most of humanity. <laughs> Your flesh is spreading across the planet, consuming all other life forms. Requiring more and more material for your growth, you're eating up chunks of the planet. Pretty soon, there's nothing left. You spread throughout the Earth, becoming its only life form. Enjoy! <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what are your thoughts on... Uh... I enjoy his games. This was fun, right? Yeah. This was a lot more light-hearted than the other one, despite it had you eating people. <laughs> it was it was a light-hearted game about cannibalism. <laughs> it's called My Adaption... In, oh, is it... Ad no, Adaptation, sorry. Into Human is the name of the game. It looks like you could do a lot of different options, by the way. There's quite a lot of multiple routes, so you mm. should definitely check that out yourselves. Yeah. Uh, looking at the store page, there's lots of different possible outcomes. I, I guess you could probably become a human. Potentially. Yeah, you're probably good. Instead of a flesh-eating orb destroying the earth. But thank you for watching with us. You should go see his other game that we played on the channel. Yep, it was called... Well, what the fuck was it called? My Monstrous Neighbor. Well, you'll link it. Roommate. My Monstrous Roommate. I will link it. <laughs> Make sure you check it out. Make sure you check out other videos as well. Give a like and a comment. Let us know what you thought of this one. Would you like to be a hulking mound of flesh eating humanity bit by bit? Let us know. Or... If you want to just be you, but you also enjoy our content and would like to support us, check out our Patreon. Oh my god, there's a link in the description. At the time of recording, there's a rare $250 tier available where you can play games with me on stream as a regular. Oh my god, that sounds amazing, right, Crazy? So numb, but you... you can also join for as little as $1. That is true. One whole dollar. One whole dollar. Oh my god. And that gives you access to lots of our private playthroughs, lots of exclusive content, and there's other tiers in between 1 and 250 with lots of different options. Look for the one that's right for you. Subscribe for a year to get a discount too. And oh my gosh. If you want to watch us live, we do that too. Link down below. Okay, we love you. Bye. Bye. Doing another shout out right here, right now for our phenomenal producer, Alice. Oh my god, she's such a numkin. You know she's a numkin. She's an elite tier numkin. The elitist of the elite of the elite elite elite, elite tier numkins. Oh my god. Make sure you're following her because we're going to be doing a bunch more stuff together on Twitch next month. It's going to be a really amazing time with our producer. Check out Alice. She's fantastic and she is the lifeblood of this channel. It's really, really appreciated what she does for us. Oh my god. Check her out. Hi everyone. Uh, we are now playing That's Not My Neighbor. This game's been pretty viral, and I've streamed this quite a bit, but I don't think Chrism has played this before, have you, Numkin? No, I haven't played it. Uh, and today, we are going to be playing the Nightmare Mode. Um, I will let the tutorial play so you guys get an idea if you haven't seen this before, but it's pretty simple and pretty and pretty spooky. Okay. Oh We're gonna play Nightmare Mode. Not recommended for new players. You're a new player, baby, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna die. Probably a few times, yes. The following short film is a production of DDD to promote mental health. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching this short film, it's because we care about your mental health. It's common for our employees to have recurring nightmares due to the psychological burden that comes with the doorman position. That's why we recommend that you use the service provided by the psychology department. Our medical staff is trying to help you cope with the nightmare. Remember that sleeping well is important for better performance at work. Our star employee Henry strongly recommends this service. He uses it all the time, even when his nightmares haven't stopped after the sessions. I know. Be like Henry. Go to the psychologist. In normal mode, it's like, be like Henry, don't be dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are in a nightmare right now. You know the drill. 
Okay. So the game is paused mm -hmm. infinitely, so I can talk whenever I want. There's no timer on this, okay? Oh, there's no. So there's no rush. Oh, hell well then. It doesn't matter. He'll wait there for as long as we want. Greetings, human. So in the main game of this, for those of you who don't know, you play a doorman, and your idea is to spot doppelgangers going into a building, okay? We are now having a nightmare about our own day job in this difficulty. Mm. And if we make a single mistake, we die. Okay. And as it's a nightmare, everything's the same as the main game, but it's a bit weirder. Because everyone's like, you know, a Cenobite or something like that from the uh, Hellraiser. So we have to make sure that all these people who want to get in the building are the right people. Mm. So here's today's list of people that we need to let in. Mm -hmm. Look at a lovely bunch. And this guy is Chutates Tyrannis, F0303, that's his room floor and room number, okay? Mm -hmm. So first of all, we need to make sure that this is the right guy. So let's have a look at his ID. Chutates Tyrannis is spelt correctly. He was born 06 1960, sorry, his ID expires, sorry, 06 1963, and it's 1955, so it's in date. And you see this logo here? Mm. We're looking at three up arrows and DDD. For it to be correct, and it is. Okay. Here we got his entry request. It's Shootakes Tyrannus again, spelled correctly. I'm a resident of this astral circle. My appointment apartment is 03 on the third floor. And again, the legit logo. Okay. So we're gonna look at the third floor database here. And here he is, Shootakes Tyrannus. First thing we need to do is make sure that his ID number lines up. So we have 7895864132294. Okay. 7895864131294. It lines up, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. That means he's potentially a nonkin. And now we need to match up his appearance. His job is an annihilator, by the way. Lovely. Face tattoos. A serious gaze. Long nose. Sharp teeth. And long hair. Okay. So, at the moment, I would say. How many tattoos does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He looks good, right? Mm. But we don't know if he's got sharp teeth. So we need to make him talk. And so I'm going to claim that his ID is not good just to make him talk. <laughs> he does not have sharp teeth. You see that? Oh, no. Well, uh, we'll say his idea is... We'll say his appearance is wrong. My appearance? Everything is perfect with my appearance. No. It's not. We'll do one more time to double check, okay? Okay, he definitely does not have sharp teeth. So, that means that this baby is a doppelganger. Okay? okay? So we need to alert the authorities immediately. And we do that by doing this and dialing three, three, one, two. And they will arrest him and kill him. Isn't that long? So fun. <laughs> Contacted the DDD. A group of agents have been sent to your building. We'll skip this in the future, but just to get an idea, guys. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. Bebba, we, we survived. Oh, my God. We have to do this like 10 more times. So no. So no. Greetings, human. What a lovely looking lady. So she is on the list. Her name is Yan Lu Wang Diu, which I'm guessing is some kind of Chinese spirit. Mm. She does not have an entry request here, so let's immediately question her about that. Here is my entry request. Okay, so she just didn't give it over in one go. All right. Let's just see, first of all. Yan Lu Wang Diu. I think that's spelled right, right? I think. Maybe. You're not an expert on ancient Chinese spelling? Yang... Let's try, try saying it, go on. No, hold on. Yan Lu Wang Diu. Okay, bring it up. Yeah, that looks right. And the logo on both her things appears to be correct, by the way. Okay. And, and, and it's in, it's in date. Okay. So let's check now her ID number. So that is F0301 is where she lives. Mm -hmm. 
We can also call the apartment and ask the other people there if they're if someone else is home at some point. But at the moment, it's not a big deal because she is on the list. Mm -hmm. So seven nine eight six five four two nine eight four six six. Teeth, thin eyebrows, teeth in the cheeks. Okay, so sharp teeth. Oh uh, yeah. Talk. We have to make a talk again. Just double check, right? Mm -hmm. I'll just say. Okay, she has sharp teeth. Mm. Okay. So that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, she has a small nose, teeth and cheeks, thin eyebrows, no people, like you said. Seven nine eight six five four two nine eight four six six. How do I check this again? It's on the ID card, isn't it? Seven nine eight six five four seven oh for fuck's sake. Seven nine eight six five four two nine eight four six six. It can sometimes be one digit, by the way. No, it matches. I think she looks good. What do you think, baby? Yeah, I think she's fine. Well, if we get it wrong, we instantly die. Okay. So, uh, well. we'll find out. <laughs> Any second now, we'll find out if we're right or wrong. We got it right! Yay! <laughs> Anazareth Anazarol. She did not give... What is this, by the way? Oh, it's just like a, a QR thing, puzzle, that you can solve separately. You do not have an ID. Here is their ID. Okay. Right, so first of all, were they on the list? Anazareth, Anazarol. They are on the list. And they look... Probably look right, but we'll find out in a second. Logo is correct. It's in date. Okay, and the logo is correct here. All right. So let's close that for now. F O one O four. All right. Can you review her appearance, Bubba? Okay. Okay. So we need to check three tattoos and seven horns in particular, I guess. But also make a talk. One. Yeah. Yeah, she does have both, doesn't she? Let's question her about the appearance. She has sharp teeth as well. Mm -hmm. She's just as beautiful as ever, Bubby. Oh, isn't that numb? Okay, now the ID. 435612. 43... Ah, it's the wrong ID! Oh, no. Yep, this is not her. Well, uh, just stay there for a second, okay? She's not gonna get us. She's not gonna get the jump on us today. Oh my god. We're gonna just save this. She's been cleaned. Excellent. Alright. What a lovely what a lovely place to work. So no. What other jobs do you have, right? When you can just call someone for help whenever you want. It's so amazing. Alright, so this is Lilith Lilithu Lilith. I feel like these are spelt long just to confuse you a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, probably. The I, the logo's good. Her name is spelt correctly. And shit's in date. Lilith, Lilith 2, Lilith, F0104. Wait, let's have a look. I'm gonna check the numbers straight away this time. Oh, she lives with the other person. 172535271725537. And one seven two five after that, okay, brother. Mm -hmm. One seven two five. All right, that all looks good. Would you mind doing the honors on her appearance a second? <sighs> okay. She has seven eyes on the picture. Yes. But it says five here. Oh, that is weird. Hold on. She has seven on this picture, too. So I'm guessing the five is wrong. It might just be written wrong in the game. Yeah, it can't even be sets of eyes, either. Yeah. I mean, she has seven in the, in, the, in her ID and in the pictures that we have of her. So yeah, I think it's probably okay. That's weird. Shall I ask her about it? Yeah. 
I hope you're referring to my earrings. I forgot them at home. Oh, she's not wearing earrings. Oh, shit. And we have no way of checking that. Oh, shit. <sighs> I'm going to assume that she's okay. Because she knew about the earrings. And if she was the monster, she probably wouldn't know about them, right? This is gonna... We're gonna die. We're gonna risk it? You can risk it, but we're gonna die. You should have just called up to her apartment. But the other one's out as well. Oh, we got it right! Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay! Okay! Excellent! Shub that word that I'm not gonna say in case YouTube dings it as something else. Uh... Let's have a look. Okay. It's in date. Um, I'm a resident of the Central Plain, blah, blah, blah. The ID. Oh, hang on. Is that too many stripes? No, that's fine. She's basically Medusa, right? Kind of. And she is in FO203. Oh, she lives by herself. Causes famine. All right, can we count her? Could you count her snakes for me, please? Well, how am I supposed to? Okay. Here. There's seven in total, apparently. Yeah, there's seven. Okay. Oh, I went to the wrong one. God damn it. Uh, I should check her ID number two. One, five, six, eight, nine, four. One, five, six, eight, nine, four. Seven five five two three six. Okay, that's right. I think it's probably the real deal. She looks beautiful, just like her picture, right? What else did it say in the thingy? Tattoo on the forehead, small nose, big smile, seven snakes, round head. Yeah, I'd say it's... Yeah. Does she have the chin? She does. All right, I'm gonna let her in. Watch where we missed one tiny detail. I think we did. Oh no. Well, we threw, we threw. Okay. What a handsome boy this is. This is A Puk Zilbaba. Mm. A Puk Zilbaba. I think that's right. Mm. It's in date. And that's right as well. Okay, I guess we should look into his records here, right? F O three O three. Where's a mask? Round head, short hair, round ears, small eyes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's say that's him. Let's check the ID number. Five six four eight nine five two. Five six four eight nine five two one three six four seven one three six four seven. That's right. I just want to check his name one more time. Zilbalba. Yeah. Zilbalba. All right. I think this is legit. Okay. Yeah. I don't like having two in a row, baby. It makes me worried. Yeah. <laughs> the boob skeet! This is Izanami Yomi. Izanami Yomi. It's in date with the right ID, but she has not got an entry pass. So let's. Uh... Oh, shit, I just put that now. No, I want to put that there. Entry request. Question the individual. Here is my entry request. Okay. And it is correct. Izanami Yomi. FO3. Oh four. Okay, here we go. Oh look, look what her job is. Hmm. I dare you. It's basically a plastic surgeon, right? Sure. <laughs> In a very <laughs> horrible way. Long hair, big nose, round chin, pale face. Okay. 
Does she have the same number of chins? She does. I'll check her ID number. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine. Nine, eight, six, five, three, wait, two. Wait. Yeah, it matches. What were you about to say, though? I don't know. <laughs> this is the fourth <laughs> one in a row that checks out. That is how you spell Izanami, right? Iza Nami. Iza Nami. Hold on. Go back to the other one. Iza Nami. Yummy. Okay. I feel like this is very sus. But I, I don't know why it would be. You know what I mean? There's no. I'm gonna let her in. I have to. I have to. There's no way we're left. We're, there's no way this is right. No. Oh my god, it was! This one's... <laughs> did we refuse the last one of her? We did, right? Uh... No, I don't think... I think we let her in. There's an easy way of no, checking. No, wait, we didn't. I we... don't remember. Her ID number didn't match up, right? Yeah, I think so. There's an easy way of checking, actually, about this, by the way. Um... What's her room? Oh, F F O three O one. I can call and ask Orcus if she's home. Mm. One four two five. That's an easy way of doing that. Let's do that. Because I can't remember if you let her in or not. I don't think we did, but better safe than sorry. Oh no, she answered the phone. <laughs> yep, we did let her in. Weird! She answered the phone! <laughs> Don't even need to check because we know that one's legit, otherwise we'd be dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, cleaning protocol complete. Panic over. <laughs> this is a very stressful job, Baby. I don't like it. I also don't like the fact there's eyes, by the way, in our thing. There you go. It's the Bride of Frankenstein, Bubby. She's not on the list! Okay, bye. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. She might have had a, have an excuse to go out. So let's ask her. Um, she's not on today's list. I am not on the list because I had to bury a body in an emergency. Well, does she live with anyone? I guess that's... Well, first of all, no ID as well. That's quite important. Here is my ID. Just gonna see. Look, is any obvious errors? No, but we don't know yet. Um, she also didn't have an entry request. Here is my entry request. Okay, they're legit, but F O two O one. We'll call her roommate. Hopefully, she has one. She has an elephant as a roommate. Okay. I'll call him and see if she's in. Okay, that's a good way of deciding. Five one. Two, three. If she answers or he answers, we know this one's bad. Mm. Well, if he tells us she's not in. Okay, the elephant has answered the phone. Oh, she's not at home. So she is telling the truth, but is she the real one? Mm. Now we need to just determine that. So, Nyagotha Zamog. Mm. FO201. Okay. Is that spelt the same? Yeah. And there's a comma on the other one. All right. How many scars does she have? Looks like five. Yeah. I don't think that's her nose. Is that nose hair she has as well? No, it's a stitch. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Then the stitchy nose. And what other things? Round nose, curly hair. Round head and thin eyebrows. Okay. I'd say she looks legit. Let's check the ID number. 986463. 986463. 213811. 213811. It looks out. It looks fine. I'm going to let her in. I don't like letting her in. But...
We're dead, surely, right? I'd say so. Nope, we're fine. Okay. When I was streaming this, this guy caught me out three times. <laughs> because there's lots of subtle differences that can be there. So... He's not on the list either! Are you fucking kidding me?! <laughs> Alright. The ID's right. Alright. Zebet Zebeth. I guess we should just call and see if he's in, first of all. Because if he is, this one's not real. One, one, five. Two. His roommate appears to be like a clown girl thing. Driggy is speaking. Zebet is not at home. Okay, so this could be him. Alright, well, why doesn't he have a thing? I guess we should ask him that, first of all. Um. I'm not on the list because I was summoned to the earthly realm. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I don't, I don't know if that's a, a very good excuse, but let's have a look. Scar on the head. Small nose. I wouldn't say that's that small, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Big smile. Two tattoos. Scar on left cheekbone. It does check out. Mm. Well, what about the ID number? That's a good point. Uh, so we have 3325699. I think that's I think he's legit. He's not at home. Okay. Uh, there's been a lot of legit people today, which worries me. But if he gets me again for like the fifth fucking time with one of these, I'm gonna be so upset. No, he's fine. So we've seen this girl before, but we didn't let her in, I don't think. We definitely did not let this one in. Okay. Well, first of all, where's your entry request, bitch? She has fangs, by the way. I think that's important. Alright, first of all, ID. We definitely turned this one away, right? We got her arrested. I don't remember. <laughs> Anazareth, Anazarel. Anazareth, Anazarel. And her name is written here as Anazareth, Anazarel. Okay. I guess I can check. I could just call her apartment, right? And make sure. Uh, 6996. Because Lilith, Lilith is home now. So she can tell us if the other one's there or not. By the way, rotary phone. I hate it. <laughs> Lilith speaking. Anazareth is not at home. Okay. Let's just do the usual checks then. Alright. Small pointed nose. Has seven horns. Wears earrings. Three tattoos. Sharp teeth. We already checked the sharp teeth. Mm -hmm. So seven horns. Yep. Yeah, and earrings and three tattoos. I think this is legit this time, but we should check the number too, right? Mm -hmm. Four three five six one two three four. Four three five six one two three four. Nine eight seven six. Nine eight. Ah oh, no! <laughs> There's an extra eight. Yep, yeah, there is. <laughs> what? She almost got us, baby. She almost got us. That's the second one of those for her! So rude. It is rude! That's the second time the number's been wrong, I think, as well. Wait till we just kill two innocent people or something. <laughs> People's a strong word, actually, but you know what I mean. Alright, who's next? We let this guy in already. A hundred percent we let this guy in already. <laughs> so, easy way of checking this. Let's see if he's home. Uh, at 4242. Give me a second, sir. Don't worry, I'm just making a quick call. Do you think we, they hear us, what we're saying, by the way? <laughs> they must do! Apuk speaking. 
Oh, hang on, he's not at home. We must have turned him away then. I guess we did. All right. Oh yeah, the first one had sharp teeth. Oh, you're didn't right. Have didn't have sharp teeth. teeth. Yeah. I'll just make him talk, and okay, he has sharp teeth. Okay, that's fine. His ID checks out. Well, I think it does. Chutates Tyrannus. Chutates Tyrannus. All right, F O three, O three. How many tattoos does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, count those in a second for me. Seven, eight, nine, five, eight, six, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, seven, eight, nine, five, eight, six, four. One, three, two, nine, four. One, three. His number checks out. His ID looks good. Does it check out? Let me double check. Seven, eight, nine, five, eight, six, four. Seven, eight, nine, five, eight, six, four. One, three, two, nine, four. One, three, two, nine, four. It does. Okay. And it's in date. We're letting this guy in. Watch that be another one. Watch there be a double. We get a double of the woman, right? So. Mm. Okay, this must be the real one. This is the third time she's shown up. There's no ID. It's true. She's got sharp teeth. Here's my ID. Alright. Anazara, Anazarel. We've seen her you a few times at this point. F0104. Let's check the ID number because that's what's been wrong each time. Four, th four, three, five, six, one, two, three. Four, three, five, six, one, two, three. Four, nine, eight, seven, six. Four, nine, eight. Okay, that matches now. Seven horns, sharp teeth we already checked, and three tattoos. Yep. Yeah, I think this is the real deal this time. Watch, there's one thing. <laughs> Give me the third one of her as well, what a bitch! No, we're right this time. I'm sure this woman is home. So we're gonna- I'm gonna double check! Cause I keep- I, my attention span is so bad that I can't remember. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we've already arrested one doppelganger of this chick already today. Uh, 1425. One second, mom. Mom. And we know it's the real deal because we'd be dead because it's nightmare mode. Mm. Normally you wouldn't know necessarily because you don't die on arcade mode till the end. Mm. Okay, she answered the phone. Okay, so this is the doppel gear. Just go on, brother. We're gonna skip this. Alright, good. We must be near the end of the shift now, because nearly everyone's in. We know it's the end when the clown shows up. Oh! Hello. Do you want to play a game? Okay, so we can play the- we have- to, to get the, the best ending for a shift, mm -hmm. we have to beat this guy at a card game. Oh no. I have beaten him before, but I've also died to him before. So, we're gonna click yes, and we're gonna see if we can win, okay? Okay. Do you want to play a game? Very well, let's play. First, let me clean the table. Alright, now pay close attention, because I'll explain the rules once. It's a bit like Uno. We will play with cards. The winner is the one who runs out of cards. We will take turns, we can only use one card per turn. Only a card greater than or equal to the one in play can be used. Or any of the wild cards. Jo uh, Joker, Queen, King, Ace. Jack, Queen, King, Ace, actually. These cards can be used any time. Any card beats a wild card. If you can't use a card, you must draw one from the deck. If you can play the new card, then use it. Otherwise, your turn ends until you have six cards. Okay, then. We will play the best of three. Good luck. So I beat this guy pretty easy last time, but we'll see how badly it goes this time. Mm. I'm gonna just get rid of a low card straight away. Oh, like, oh no, he's already played. Shit. Alright, I can play the eight. That's fine. He played an eight again.
I won the first round. Yeah. Oh, he did not like yeah, that. He did not like that. He starts this time, though. He gets an advantage. He started last time as well, by the way. I just want to point that out. All right. We don't have a good hand here, really. We're lucky here, but we're... we're, with the, we're oh, no! He beat us that time. Okay. We have a terrible hand. Oh, he... Oh, my God. You see what he just did to us? Yes. We're fucked. Yeah, I don't think there's any possible... He beat us this time. No! Game over. What an asshole. Died. We did. <laughs> oh, I know. But we can have a look at... Uh, we got... We, we, it's still the end of the shift. <laughs> Neighbors killed. Fuck. We got... We, we only got... We only let the bad guys in. We lost to the clown. Not too bad. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed our nightmare mode. If you want to see me beat this, look at our Twitch vods, because I did. I promise. <laughs> There's evidence. <laughs> what did you think of this, baby? I think this is kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. That was uh, my nightmare neighbor. We hope we enjoyed you enjoyed both games in this video. Make sure you smash the like button if you did. Let us know what you thought of them in the comment section. And if you can, check out our Patreon. There's a link in the description to that. Five bucks or more to get really involved and vote and nominate on games for the channel. What should they watch next? Hmm. I don't know. Again, you know what this game reminds me of? What? Papers, please. Do you remember that from back in the day? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, we don't have any videos of that, so. Uh, you should probably just watch something amazing, like... You suck at this. I don't know any of the videos we played! i tell you what could do with a bit more love. <laughs> Our playthrough of Hellblade 2. Um, not a lot of people check that out. Um, we'd really appreciate it if you've got more eyes on that. There's a link uh, on screen for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're amazing. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>